information about the man charged with killing his 13-year-old stepdaughter, Jaden Glome. Josh Lelavere says he was attacked nearly a week and a half after Glome's body was found. Today, for the first time, we are hearing Lelavere tell Pima County sheriffs what happened the night he says he was attacked. Now, your side, Priscilla Casper joins us now. Priscilla. Well, Guy and Stella, on May 11th, Jaden Glome was reported missing hours before her body was found at a home construction site in Vail. Well, not on your side, requested the interview Lelevere did with a sheriff's detective on May 22nd, claiming someone tried to strangle him while he was alone in his backyard. Lelevere says he was up late writing a memorial letter for Jaden around 1.30 a.m. on his back patio. He says he was smoking a cigarette when he heard a clanky noise from behind his home near the air conditioning unit. Lelevere says he went to check it out, and that's when someone tried to strangle him. Take a listen. Something uh, went around my neck, pulled tight. backwards, uh, couldn't breathe, didn't see anybody. Lelevere says he then grabbed his knife and that's when his arm hit against the wall and he said he dropped it. He says the next thing he remembers is waking up on his back. The detective then asked him multiple times who he thinks did this, but Joshua says he never saw who it was. And deputies say there was a small mark on Joshua's neck, but it didn't look like it came from strangling. But they did find a loop of electrical cord in the home's backyard. And Joshua is facing several charges, including murder, abandonment of a body, and sexual exploitation of a minor. His next court appearance is in August. Guy. Today, 